All praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to Apostle Elders in New York, GMS. Salutations to your around the world is teaching the truth. My name is Maya Ka'ala Bangad, which is a cargo branch of Great Millstone. I'd like to make a disclaimer that we are not black Hebrew Israelites. We are the Israelites. The Israelites are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and speckled birds that scatter raw. Speckled birds are Israelites who look like other nations, but their father's paternal bloodline go back to the 12 patriarchs of Israel. Okay. Uh, we are not fit in any black identity in string groups. We are not fit in any other type of string groups. We are not fit in with any other. Um, we are not fit with any Islamic groups, and we are not fit in with any other Israelite groups. Okay, um, and right here, man, this is a response to uh, this guy named uh, Musselman. And this guy got my, my blood heated, man, because <clears throat> you're going to see right here, he going to say, well, they got the Moors confused with the sub-Saharan Africans. And first of all, the so-called Negroes, West Indians, and Haitian Americans are not uh, Africans. They are Shemitic descent, all right? They are the, the descendants of the Israelites, okay? And the Moors that... Um, the Moors were basically, that's just a title, man. The Moors were a confederation of Jews, Christians, and and uh, Muslims. All right. And the Moors, the majority of the Moors that, that, that had conquered Spain and rest of France, those were of, of Hebraic, those were of uh, uh, Israelite descent. Okay. All right. I know that the historical reason. Also, I keep in touch. I keep in touch with my people. Over, over these social sites, man. Okay. There's a sister on Instagram. I, uh, you know, she can't ask me questions and stuff because she, you know, she's from Cuba. And she's uh descendants of the um, Sephardic, Sephardic Jews. And she, uh, she used the, she also used the title more. All right. So she told me who she was. And then at the same time, she said, yeah, she, uh, she, you know, told me that I was her brother and this and that. And, you know, we came from the same lineage as, as Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay. And I got, <laughs> I got that letter saved up in one of my social sites, man. That statement. Okay. So... You know, and here he gonna he you see he gonna say so he gonna say that our people stole. We don't have to steal anything, man. We know who we are, man. The elders know who they were. Why you think Esau, uh, so called European, make an effort to hide that history from us, man? All right, so I'm gonna put this right here. Show this guy. And let me tell you something, man. Muscle, man, you ain't qualified to teach history, man. You need to sit down. And just, just, you know, let the men of the Lord teach it, man. All right. The men at, at GMS. Great millstone. All right. Because, see, you getting your education from this uh, mainstream American system. All right. I'm going to play. Uh, it says Psalms 58. He said, the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. Yeah. They say, you know, they speak this lie that. That the so-called Negroes of the Americas, the one that came on trans and led slave trade, are are Hamites or Sub-Saharan Africans. All right, there ain't nothing wrong coming from Sub-Saharan Africa. Our people ran in there due to persecution. All right, because if Sub-Saharan Africa was so bad, why Esau keep constantly going over there all the all the time and investing in the resources and stuff and building houses and stuff over there, man. And some of the uh, sub Saharan African states look like California and Mississippi, man. All right. It says right here, Psalms 85 and 11. It says, Truth shall spring out of the earth and righteousness look down from heaven. All right. So the truth going to come, come out, man. And that's what the, the, the uh, that's why we, we are here, man. The men of, of the Lord. All right. That's why we are here, man. 
That's why the most I put the spirit in us to bring this truth out on on history, man. All right, so I'm gonna play with this guy say, man. With the neighboring Sicilians, the historic conflation of the Moors with Sub-Saharan Africans has led to a rather strange movement arising in the African diaspora, with many self-identifying as Islamic Moors and with Moorish history being pretty much exclusive to black Americans, which is fine, whatever, but it seems disingenuous to steal and erase the entire history of the actual Moors of North Africa and just... All right, so how we so how we gonna steal and erase the the Moor? Well, we are we are the Moors. Like I said, Moor again. It's a title. It's a title, man. We are Israelites. All right, now the Moors sounds too, but they go off saying that they more but more by the Canaan. But you sit down with them, they'll confess they are the Israelites, man. All right, because you had another group before uh them. <clears throat> All right, they call themselves. They was found in um, in 1899. The Moors, uh, Moors Zionists, Moors Zion Temple. All right, which was found in 1899. All right, so these people knew who they were, man. All right, the more uh, the more Zionist temple, the more Jews like they knew what they was because they had the information from the uh, the ancestors, man, that they came here. All right, and this guy right here, I think, what is his name? His name Hassan. This guy from India, and I think one of these people up here is from. I don't know, uh, forgot their name, man. It's been so long time ago, man. All right. So, why would these people see every time I get on, <laughs> get on these demons, man? They freeze up my computer, all types of crazy stuff, man. <laughs> all right. But why would they call themselves the Moors Zion's Temple, man? All right. Because they knew they were descendants of the, the Moors and the, and the Jews from Spain, Portugal, and, and, um, West Africa, man. All right, and the, the, the uh, it was uh, prophesied. Let me get this right here, man. Get this uh, the, uh you know, I'm gonna bring the historical books out. Here we go. Um, still, people don't have to steal anything, man. We've been documenting everything. My family, myself, man, I'm the center of the Moors of, of England, man. All right. Okay. My clan name is Blackwell. All right. All right. We're Israelites. We're Israelites from the tribe of Gad. Okay. All right. Sometimes people, they call us brutish Moors, British Moors. All right. Like I said, those titles, our nationality is Israel, man. All right. My, mo my mother's side, man, surname Moor. On my father's side, we got relatives surname Moor. We got people, rel Brown, that's just another way of saying Moor. Okay. My, uh, my beautiful cousin, brothers know who she are. Like I said. All right, her mother is a Turkish Moor. Her mother call they sell they call herself Turks, but she's a Turkish Moor. She's basically a she's actually a Israelite. That's using that title, uh, um, um, using that that thing Turks. All right, Turks. That's another way of saying uh, uh, that's really uh, um, uh, the Moors. All right, because they was up in Turkey. All right, they was uh, citizens of Turk. All right, well, like I said they're Israelites, man. All right, so you, you're not going to come up here, Moss, man. It's your false information, man. All right, I got too much connections, man. Uh, my family from Tennessee, 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 uh, uh, the Carolinas, Mississippi, Louisiana. That, that's, that those are hotbeds, man, with the, with the Moors and Jew people are more, more in, in, uh, Judas sent live live that man. All right. 
It says, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 6 a, it said, And Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way where if I spake unto thee, right? Because the Israelites, old people, all 12 tribes, we was in uh, physical Egypt, and we should will go into captivity again. All right. It was, it was double four, the Egypt mean uh, Deuteronomy chapter 5 or 6. All right. So uh, uh, Egypt captivity bond, then you go to Deuteronomy uh, uh was you know <clears throat> right here Deuteronomy twenty eight sixty eight spirit called well, America's called spiritual Egypt in uh, Revelation chapter eleven verse eight. Could you go to Washington? They modeled themselves after the Egyptians, man. You, you see all those those uh, street signs and everything. The little man walk all that get that from Egypt, man. Like they did a movie uh American uh, uh graffiti. Okay, you had a gang called what? The Pharaohs, man. All right, you look in your dollar bill. Everything's Egyptian influence. Okay. It said, and your house shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way, I'll speak on to thee. All right. Because a three-day walk to from Israel to Egypt. All right. So it's talking about captivity and it's talking about America. Thou shalt see it no more again. There you should be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. No man shall buy you. All right. So it's a whole nation to it. We should not see that the whole land of Israel again as a whole nation. There you should be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. No man shall buy you. So Yahweh gave us up because we violate the law of such command. We end up on the slave market. For bond bond, it's, all right, bond men and bond women, and no man should buy. I mean, nobody should say we're gonna have to have to serve this bitter captivity, man, which was is almost over with now, man. All right, we're no, we're gonna knock away from um being up out of this captivity. All right, and right here it says uh, Deuteronomy twenty eight verse uh, sixty five. All right, it says, Well, then among the nations thou shalt find no ease. Um, uh, neither shall soul thy foot hair rest, or as captivity, right? But thou, but Yahweh shall give thee there, tripping the heart and fell in the eyes, start on mine. Thy light shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have no assurance of thy light, right? We've been per uh, persecuted, man. And that's what happened to Moors and, and the Moors and Jews was basically the same people we persecuted when we uh, 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 got exposed from, from Spain, Portugal, man. And some of our people ran to other countries, but we ran, uh, we ran to Africa, man. All right. It says right here. All right. Let's see. Uh. Let's say Deuteronomy 20. Yep, Deuteronomy 28 16. Curse shall thou be in the city, curse shall be in the field. That's right, so where we go. The curse is falling us, man. So we 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 gonna be persecuted. Alright. We'll keep still being persecuted today. But that's the you know the curse is slowly going away, according to Deuteronomy 30 verse 7. Alright, so you know we're going home soon. So I just brought this out. Go on the scriptures, all right. This guy said we still in history, but <laughs> I got histories that say otherwise, man. Even your own author, so you can't some of your own scholars, man. All right, so you can't uh run to skews. You scoffers out here, cause you love to use the word Afrocentric. <laughs> but most of these scholars, they wouldn't even they wrote their books before the so the term Afrocentric was bestowed upon uh, some of my scholars because Esau he couldn't handle the truth because he he uh uh so called white was well, you know so called white was because he's not white he's red all right and so it says Psalm sixty four and eight it says so they shall make their own tongue fall upon themselves all the seed them shall feel it so they shall make their own tongues to fall upon it right so they're gonna tell they telling themselves man all right because this guy said oh, they 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 confused. <laughs> They still ain't like uh most cars they uh uh talking about the people that paint the pictures of the Moors in Europe. Oh they put uh uh paint them got got confused uh oh they paint the Moors as as black sub Africans. All right, people not Africans, man. Right, real Shemitic descent. Where there is a lights. 
It said, Job 9, 24, said, The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. He covered the face of just thereof. If not, where and who is he? All right, it's the earth is given to the hand of who? The wicked. The so-called white man, he covered the face of just. How he do that? He paint uh, uh, the icons in Europe, man. All right. It's basically the picture of uh, the man everybody hit me called Jesus. And the name is Yahweh and the prophets of the Bible, man. All right. So, you know, that's <clears throat> why the most High put in the spirit of our ancestors to to uh could we rule Europe when you think it's called the dark ages. It's pretty evidence of that, historical evidence that coming from uh uh so called European scholars, Edomite white scholars, man. All right, so you know our people they left all this most I put the spirit on them to leave all the icon paintings and coins and, and artifacts and statues to show that that we we that that we come from them, man, and and what did they really look like? All right. To to basically battle, uh, what what is Edomite supremacy, which is which is basically so called white supremacy, man, because they're not white, they're red, man, they're not white like this background is here. All right, they're uh, Edom, I don't want them. Means means red. All right. <sighs> So, you know, this guy talk about people stealing history. I'll be on guys steal nothing. All right. Your teachers stole our history and lied. All right. So this book, uh, The Englishman, The Moor in the Holy City, The True Adventures of the Elizabeth Traveler. We'll go page uh, 36. Look at this say right here. It says Morocco was angry at Spain not only because the Spanish had seized Moorish lands in Al Andalusia, right, which is Spain, and dealt appallingly with the Muslims there because the Spanish were continually, continually capturing Muslims to serve as slaves in the Spanish colonies in the Americas. Okay, so uh, so Master Man, how 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 are we still in this history? How are we doing that, man? All right, like I said, you ain't qualified to teach history, man. You need to sit down somewhere. All right. <clears throat> Get this right here. This is weird history one on one by John Richard. Uh, Stefan, all right, this is a good book. I'll ask you brothers to get. We got some, some goodies in this one, man. All right, so, um, <laughs> it says right here, it's page 153. It says, as the demand for agricultural labor increased, so that importation of slaves, Native American tribal guy, Moors, Israelites, Turks, Israelites, and Jews were also sold as slaves in 17th century America. All right, these are facts, man. All right, so I don't know what you get this thing. Oh, we're stealing this and this, and we're doing this, and y'all stealing people's history. And you're shaming your history. All right, which is BS, man. You're shaming your history because you stole our history and you brainwashed. Your people. That's why this guy, muscle, muscle man, he don't know what he's talking about. All right. So this is another book uh, by a so-called European scholar. You might call it Slavery in America. And I witness a history. Dorothy uh, Snyder, Snyder, Snyder and Carl J. Snyder. All right. So page. This is a good book. Also proves that the so-called Native Americans fit the curses in Deuteronomy 28. All right, so uh, get this two seventeen. All right, so this is a letter two seventeen. It says right here it says Eddie Dowling uh, argued in a sixteen forty five letter. So this is in the seventeenth century. All right, sixteen forty five letter to. Uh, 
John Wintel, a war with Narragansett is very considerable to this plantation, for I doubt whether yet be not shine is in us. Be I'm oh, sorry, whether be not sin in us. Sorry, sorry, because this is old, old English. Having power in our hands to suffer. Uh, let me see. Power's in hand to suffer down to, uh, what's that? Magnate the worship of the devil, which there are powwows. Powwows, so we're talking about the tribe of God, lying on them. Often do to lie. If upon a just war, the Lord shall deliver them into our hands. We might easily have men, women, children enough to exchange for moors. All right. All right. Yeah, you see what they talking about black. That's just an emphasis, man. He ain't put that. I seen the original letter said moors. All right. So we just put the parents in the old you talking about, which will be more uh, gainful pillage for us than we could see for I do not. Uh, see how we can thrive until we get into the stock of slaves sufficient to do all our business for our children's children will hardly see the great continent filled with uh, people so that our servants will desire freedom to plant for themselves all right so you see right here it says we're in change for more so they was changing the so-called native americans for what moors all right the moors and number is like so again like i said Muslim, how can we steal this history when it's documented that we are those people all right you're not qualified my friend you're not qualified at all all right get this right here uh this is a book black crescent by Michael A. Gomez. All right. I think he might be a brother. All right. So I'm going to get this right here. Uh, let me see. And so, though Normica Inferior, North African or Moors had an impact on the trajectory or early colonial, colonial, colonial development in America through their participation in the sedition by their influence with West African Muslims, sorry, number of Israelites, resulting the uh, alteration of African import patterns, Israelites, all right. They left an undeniable legacy in the new world that could be traced. And a girl, uh, Batron, provides the context for understanding the Moors' experience in America's nearly 100 years after the fall of uh, Suta in 1415. The Portuguese captured Zafi or Zafi in 1507 in what is now Morocco, north of Cape, Cape Gear. And uh, 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 entry port of significance is uh, through the end of 16th century, Zafi supplied the slaves as well as various uh, merchandise to the Guineas, Venetian markets in the area, which f uh, facilitated their movement to Mexico. They entered the New World under the, the uh, designation of Cafe. It said, through their introduction was limited to the century of conquest. The slaves taken in Zafi were a direct result of war against Islam, from which place the principal con uh, contingent were composed of natives from Morocco, Fez, Moors, Berbers, 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 Jews and laurels who passed to the West Indies in the company of their master settlers or conquerors under the common destination of white slaves. All right, so <laughs> there you go, man. The so-called Negroes in America are descendants of the Moors and Jews and bear with all of them Israelites, man. Those are different titles, man, as white. So why they call them, why they designate them as white slaves? Not, not because they were white, because they had different, they had unique facial features, man. It says the need to establish a uh, primacy of Santa Fe Catholics led to insurance 
of royal proclamation to either prohibit or spell so-called uh, esclavos blancos in 1501, 1506, 1509, 1530, 1531, 1543, 1550, who very repetition reflects a lack of compliance result. Small groups of white slaves entered to our country and America in general. Again, these were Israelites, all right? All right, and they was being white because they had unique features, man. Our people had diverse, some had straight hair, some had sharp nose. You know, some were very light skinned, some <laughs> very chocolate, man. So we had various features, man. All right. So we don't got to steal anything, man. All right, so this is from the book from Babylon to Timbuktu by Rudolph Winsor. Okay, here we go, right here. <laughs> It says, um, Alan Gabe writes that um, when Wood Reed met blacks in Guyana, West Africa, who called himself Portuguese and claimed descent from Portugal, Reed wrote his book in 1864. In another case, Daniel P. Manor writes us that Captain Cutler, a slave traded from Boston, was barbarously murdered with a uh, to his satyrs by a community of black Portuguese established near the mouth of Sierra Long River. All right, so <laughs> there's no, this, this is a story. All right, man, we are those people, man. All right, and the Moors were Israelites. The so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American are the Israelites the Bible speak of. But to this case, the so called Negroes, West Indians, and Haitians are descendants of the Jews and Moors in Spain and Portugal and West Africa, man. All right, so Shalom.